Okay, what is up guys, Robo here, and um, today this is a much requested tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own logo. Um, now, you've probably seen a few of mine in the past, like the graffiti one, a load of people keep asking me what the font is for that. Even still, I get messages linking me to a speed art where I've used it, and um, it's not a font. Uh, it was drew drawn by Hex, and it was penciled by Strats. This was when I had about 300 subs, I got this, and... Um, I didn't pay for it, contrary to belief. I well, I kind of gave him a three month Xbox Live code, but you know, whatever. I'm not going to go really into this because this is a tutorial and uh, I want to show you how to make one. So basically, you want Photoshop, obviously, um, and then you want to go to, it depends what type of logo you want, because here, if you're going to be using an abstract logo, I'm not going to really be showing you how to make one of them. Um, like examples would be Prodigy, or I can't really think of many off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, sure, what basically how I'm going to show you to make a logo is one that you're going to start from a font. So if you go to dafont.com, can't spell, okay. So there we go. Um, basically, I would recommend either going with a graffiti font, which I'm sure a lot of you um, like, but they are a lot harder. And otherwise, I would go for sci-fi in this techno section and pick a font out of here that you like because basically the font is going to be your starting point and a font is usually my starting point for any logo, custom logos, etc. So here I think this is quite a nice graffiti font but it's really hard to pen tool and Cinema 4D it's going to look like crap in Cinema 4D so um, I wouldn't go with that one personally uh, I would go with a... Oh, I've forgotten what the font is called, let me just check one second So. Alright, if we go into Photoshop and create a new 1920 by 1080 um, canvas, then I'm going to hide the rulers because I won't particularly need them for this. Okay, so you want to start with a font. A few good ones which I've already got would be... Um, excuse me while I find this. Ah, uh -huh, there we go. Sick Capital Vice. That's a nice one. Um, so you can change colour to black, there we go, but again that's hard to make in Cinema 4D just because it's quite thin, so I'm going to make all of these about 72 and then just give you a few options, so there's a kind of nice graffiti one, but if we were going to start with um, a techno kind of one, a nice font that you could use is Perfect Dark, I think it's called Perfect Dark, let me just have a look, yeah there we go. So if I was going to type in robot, now obviously you don't want the font as your logo because anyone can just copy that, so you want to customise it a bit. So if you go to the text layer and right click and click rasterize type, that will mean you can customise these kind of things. So let's say I wanted to make a big line in the middle, then you could select that bit, press Control T and just drag it along like this. So then all of those three would be linked up. Say I wanted the R a bit closer, you can select this lasso tool and just draw around the R. Being a bit careful when you go around the letters. Select layer via cut. And then hold shift and just drag it closer to the O like that. You could say you wanted the T to be a bit closer. So you could select this bit, because I only want this bit to move closer, because the rest is pretty close already. And you can move it along like that. And then you could slightly shorten by selecting this bit, pressing delete, selecting this bit, layer via cut, and then just drag that along like that, although that does look a bit weird, but yeah it looks a bit different. So um, you could connect one of the O's just to make it a bit more unique, hold that, control C, control V, because I don't think dragging it up would help in this situation. So I'm going to drag that one like there, and then do that again, to make that one connected. Um, and you can really play around with these, and if you just merge the layers at the end of it, you'll have your logo, to which you can apply some nice effects. Like, well these are just really random effects, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm just showing you guys for, for a point that they're really kind of easy to customise as well if you merge all the layers when you're done.
Okay, so there we go. There's another type of logo. So at the moment you've got a graffiti one and that one. Or basically there's a range of fonts that you can start with. I would recommend looking on Dafont in sci-fi fonts and you could basically type in your name. So if I type in robot, which is kind of weird because none no fonts actually look quite nice in my no fonts look great with my name basically. Sucks. Um yeah, so I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll go Zyrod, kind of Xyrod, whatever. Um, but that one looks quite nice. Another one that looks quite nice, which I already have, is called um, Snub Fighter. So if I was to type in robot like that, or. Yep, that one looks quite nice. Uh, they're basically different fonts work different ways. So with this one if I rasterize the type which means it's editable I could connect certain lines. Um, it's stuck here because I don't really know what to do with this one. Basically if I just hit Control T and drag that one in then that makes the O and T connected which I don't know it gives it a different effect or if you want to create if you click on this Actually, I'm going to layer by cut one of the O's because that's all I want. I'll hide the rest. So if I image, um, select, modify, contract, and if I contract that by about seven, I'm just guessworking here because, no, about ten, just guesswork. And then I create a new layer, fill it with black, select off, and then control T and just stretch it in. That's quite a nice abstract logo right there. Looks a bit like an I, a bit like an O, whatever. Um, so yeah, abstract logos are a lot harder to make than an actual logo, but um, well, obviously they are an actual logo, but they're just a bit harder to make because they require a lot more creativity. Like if you know your name, you can just play around with it till it looks nice. But with a abstract logo, you have to actually know what you you want kind of and it's so I would start with a random a random shape in this one I'm gonna hold down a circle and they could be really simple that's the kind of beauty of an abstract logo and you can just get a brush and an eraser brush yeah I'm on eraser cool and then say I was gonna go for an oh these are really nice graffiti brushes by the way uh, I'll link in the description where I got them if I can remember so if I find an R and then if I just take it down a bit then that's a fairly nice logo right there but um, you know there's all different types you can go for and they really depend on the kind of font that you want to use what kind of style you want um, and what you want it to be like like it's up to you how your logo gets customized there's perfect dark by the way that's a free download. It's a really good font for logos and so is St Sick Capital Vice which is pretty nice. If you can pen tool that I think that would look quite nice but um, you know a lot of these graffiti ones are quite hard. They're Sick Capital Vice and that's pretty much it guys so I hope these will help with your logos. That's quite a nice one as well actually just looks quite nice. Um, it's basically just browse the fonts and you will find something you like with any luck. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.